Two Nigerians who have tested positive for COVID-19 remain in police custody after Greater Accra Regional Hospital allegedly declined to isolate them. They were intercepted at COVID-19 safety checkpoint at Kokobot head office on Sunday, April 5, on board a taxi cab from Pokuyase. According to the police source, the foreign nationals who initially claimed to be Togolese were sent to the Great Accra Regional Hospital for testing. However, the COVID unit of the hospital allegedly declined custody of the police of the suspects after taking their samples, compelling the police to send them back to the station pending the release of the result in 48 hours. According to the police source, the foreign nationals who initially claimed to be Togolese were sent to the Greater Accra Regional Hospital for testing. However, the COVID unit of the hospital allegedly declined custody of the suspects after taking their samples, compelling the police to send them back to the station pending the release of the results in 48 hours. The police were compelled to convert an office into a temporary holding bay for the foreign nationals. Finally, the results were released on Saturday and proved positive for the COVID-19. Since then, managers of the COVID-19 emergency centers have not responded to calls from the police who have now adopted a 24-hour surveillance at the station after the results were released. This, our source says, could expose personnel on duty and others who use the facility at risk of contracting the disease. Right, you're on News 360 right now. And on this Nigerian issue, we're going to speak to Nanaya Akwada, who doesn't need an introduction at all. He's been on our network, always giving us some good expertise. So, Nanaya, good evening, and thank you for joining us on News 360. Good evening, and thank you for having me. Right. We're, we're giving you a little background about this issue. I mean, two Nigerians who were intercepted by the police were taken to the Ridge Hospital for testing. And after two days, the result has come out showing that the two uh, tested positive for COVID-19. But they still remain with the police because according to the police, the Ridge Hospital officials are refusing to take them back or they haven't picked their call. As it is, they have remained with the police Accra Central Police Station since uh, they tested positive. What do you think is going wrong here? Well, I think this is a, a very bad or dangerous um, development. And I would want to see the response team respond to this adequately and in very, very good time. The consequences of such an occurrence um, is certainly or will certainly not be good for the fight against uh, COVID-19 in Ghana. Look, apart from health workers, one of the most hit frontline workers is the law enforcement agencies. In the U.S. alone, we are talking in excess of 8,000 officers who are See severely ill out of um, COVID-19, amidst some 14,000 um, infections. And so if we give them the sign that once they even are able to secure a case, we will play um, hide and seek with them before taking over these persons. We are literally shooting ourselves in the foot I am watching, if I were a police officer and I am listening to the news this evening, tomorrow I'll think twice before bringing someone into custody. Number two, aside that, we are also endangering the family and for that matter, the rest of the public because these officers, um, subsequent, um, subsequent to this arrest, have um, gone back homes. They've been with their wives and their children only to learn six days later that these persons were infected. And then what happens? We have left them to their fate, and then we claim we are fighting this um, virus. All right. I think so, so uh, Nanea, you know, sorry, we, we understand, or our source is telling us that the police have since converted an office there to keep 
this uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, infected persons. Is that enough? I think we should um, commend the police for um, even having this um, great idea of converting a working office uh, to hold these persons whilst they wait for the results. We cannot continue to leave these persons in the care of the police. Um, as soon as we know that these persons are positive, we must make moves immediately to uh, pick these guys up for treatment and find out to what extent the police were exposed to these people and nail these contacts down for monitoring as soon as possible. Um, that's the only way we can uh, combat this virus. We must get ahead of this virus and we don't have to wait for data to do so. Uh, okay, so what do you suggest the police should do now? Since the health authorities have refused to pick their distress calls. Well, I think it's, it's okay for the police to escalate the issue and for us to be discussing this issue on TV3 network, which is a very wide network. That's a massive escalation they have done. I would want to see the IGP take this up, possibly with the commander-in-chief, and get the um, authorities to immediately respond to this and do the need for all right, there's a level of risk that I want you to look at. I mean, for all the workers at the central police station in Accra, these people have been there for about one week now. They have tested positive for COVID-19. What do you think should happen to us? Should the police station continue to operate? I mean, they are exposing their workers to a high level of risk there and those who visit the station. Absolutely. And I think I mentioned that it was my last but one submission that we must nail every person, and for want of a better way, we must nail every person who has come in contact with these Nigerians or two um, infected persons, and then monitor them, test and monitor them as soon as possible. Of course, uh, the police station must continue to operate until um, such time that we are certain that um, not too many people there are infected. But I tell you, if even we find three persons that are infected or two persons infected, it will form enough basis to close down that um, station immediately and put everybody under monitoring. But then I, I want us to help us. One final point. I mean, the police have done what they have to do. They've sent them to the Ridge Hospital. The test results have come out that they are positive. Whose responsibility is it to take these two persons to a quarantine center? Unfortunately, um, I'm unable to tell you exactly whose responsibility it will be. But I know that we have um, a national response team in place. Um, if they have not put in place such um, structures um, to retrieve persons who have been um, apprehended or kept by law enforcement for, into their care, I think that this should serve as a signal to them they must close every gap in their response plan as soon as possible. We called for that national response plan to be published uh, weeks ago. It has still not been published. And so some of these things will be occurring. Some of these gaps will occur and will pay for it dearly. I think that in 2020, in today's Ghana, we should not think that everybody with the requisite know-how is in government. We should open up so that we citizens can also contribute to some of these things. I believe that if they had published the national response plan, perhaps some of us would have identified a few gaps and lapse, lapses here and there and pointed it out to them. But as long as they are keeping it straight to their chest, I think that they have to um, take uh, some of these blames in good faith. Right. Nanaya Akwada, we are grateful for your time. Is the chief executive of the Bureau of Public Safety. Always, we are grateful. Thank you for sharing your expertise.